Hi. Hi, my name is Michael. And I'm Nami. And welcome to Mike. And Nami Plus. We're going to discuss our Myers Briggs Brick. Type Indicators. MBTI, sorry. <clears throat> <laughs> we just started this. Can you guess what we are? You can pause the video. Anyways, <laughs> Nami is. No, I was thinking we can make it like Dora. Good try! You're ESFJ, sometimes you're... No, for a, a five-year period, I was... ESTJ? Yes. I was a straight, extroverted, sensing, feeling, judging my whole life. Yes. And very extreme, like all of my characteristics were 80% or 90% of the characteristics that I yes. am. Now you can do this test for free online. Mm -hmm. It's pretty accurate online. Like mm -hmm. I've done it like every year or every half year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I've always landed on the same INFJ yeah, yeah, yeah. spectrum. Right now our favorite technology. website for it, uh, we'll link it down below. It's 16personalities.com. Mm -hmm. They give you a fifth letter code, which is A This is not T. sponsored by the way. Not sponsored by the way. Assertive mm -hmm. or turbulent. So you're more turbulent. We, we always use assertive. this website. So I did do this test professionally. I mm -hmm. spent $90 on With it. With your counselor. I'm confirmed. I am an INFJ, but I do have some things about me that are out of preference. What's interesting about this is that this test, we did it because we were so kind of incompatible in a relationship because we had such a high conflict relationship. In the past, yeah. In the past. And even now in ways we do. Mm -hmm. But we're improving on it. Part of the purpose of why I made us do these tests is so that we would understand, understand each other. <laughs> now, it's not ethical to do these tests and say, therefore, I'm going to fire you. Or oh. therefore, this is why we're not working out. That's not. Therefore, I'm not gonna way. take you. I'm not gonna take care of you um, as a sick parent. And so those are that. That's the unethical way yeah. to use this MBTI typology test. Yeah, or purpose, any personality test. Right. Mm. And the purpose of it is so that you can understand or harmonize or mm. come to an agreement or you know whatever you're trying to do. Yeah. What your initial result is is yes. kind of like if you're right or left-handed, whatever dominant hand you are. Yes. Your initial result is your dominant hand. So we were so opposite. I'm introverted, you're extroverted. I'm intuitive, huh? you're sensing. Yeah. I'm feeling, but sometimes you're... I was extreme feeling, but sometimes you're kind of thinking. No, I was extreme feeling too until six years ago. And then I became thinking for five years straight. So we were opposite for five years. We were opposite for five feeling, years. Feeling, thinking. Yeah. And then I was, during that time, I was perceiving. Yeah. I was perceiving and then I was judging. And you were judging. And then I was assertive and you were turbulent. Yeah. So we were total polar opposites on yeah. all five categories. Yeah. And you can imagine how much misunderstanding we had. Mm -hmm. How much conflict we had. It's not even just our personalities too. It's like the way that we think, the way that our brain is wired to, to process yes. information. The way that we communicate, the way we piece our words together. And then how that word trans those how those words transfer into our brain. Yes. I look like a titan! Why? Because you're big? Your belly's big? Yeah. Well, get a blanket. You want me to hide my belly? Well, you're complaining that you look like a titan. <laughs> <laughs> you're being too self-conscious about your pregnant belly. Well, right now it's at the stage where people can't tell if I have a big belly or if I'm pregnant. Well, relax. <laughs> Calm down. Chugole? <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> just that, I hated that. I, that oh, triggers me. I know it triggers me. Don't now I say it as a joke. Calm down. I will choke. No, just kidding. Now I say it as a joke. Yes. So prior to hitting your 20 years of age, yes. typically you're still kind of single handed, right. developing that one sided of you. Of you. So yeah. not introverted. Before 20, like I kind of. You're struggled, mostly just right? introverted, yeah. Yes. Beyond that, 20 to I don't know how long it may take the individual, you're beginning to learn to become ambidextrous. Ambidextrous, strengthening the other side. Which means weakness. double handed. And so you want to be able to build that side. So for me, I have to learn how to be more sensing, more mm. sensitive, more aware, more picking up I, body language. I think maybe that's why I changed to T for five years straight. Because at that time I was 18. Mm -hmm. And eventually, you want to get to a point in life, you can switch back and forth. Depending on the circumstance. Exactly. And that's the goal that's of where you want to get skill. to. That's So, a question for both of us. <gasps> mm. What's one thing that you've learned about me through the years of doing this test? Or that's helped in terms of our Oh, life? that's hard. I learned a lot of things about you in general. Cool. Because like the way that you think was, was so totally different than oh, yeah. how like I understood my life especially because 
you're five years older than me. Mm -hmm. So not just our personalities, but also our brain development mm -hmm. was different. Like I was still can only see things through my lens. Learning more about you helped me understand like, wow, someone can think so differently from yeah. me. That's crazy. I have those People moments too. People do not think like you. You know, in those moments, I'm like, <laughs> wow, I never thought of that. I never. Yeah, that I never knew that existed. And then, and then a moment later, it disappears. Right? You forget you it. Forget. Like, how did that? A moment mom, later, you're like, like wait, like, I don't get it again. You're trying to figure it out. Like, like I want to get it again. For a second, you're like, wait, I get it. And then <laughs> a second later, you're like, <laughs> you wait, I don't get Where it. Go. Oh, I wish I just got you, it. You get those moments, right? You know what? Oh, That's man. what a spouse does. A spouse humbles you. <laughs> because there's no like filter. If something annoys you, just like, that was stupid. <laughs> like, Do you have no brain? <laughs> you have no brain. And just like... Oh, You're crazy. <laughs> I see what you mean. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna listen to that. Let me just think about it. You just said that I have no brain. Something definitely upset you. <gasps> yeah, looking back at what I did, I, that was wrong. Maybe it was a bit selfish of me. But you know what? I have a bit of pride and mm, so marriage there's no one else who will diss and humble you diss you your spouse's daily conversation is your life's diss track yeah but it's a blessing it's a blessing yeah. at the same time it's a blessed track because you know as iron sharpens iron we sharpen each other and yeah. we kind of learn from it i mean if it gets to a point where it's abusive right that's an issue or and very you should speak to somebody you trust about it yes for sure definitely mm. do not ever get fully isolated i learned a lot of things about you but i can't list them because they've become so part of me that i don't even remember what they are cool <laughs> however there's a section in this piece of paper that he circled called Popular Op Occupations for INFPs. Cool. I think that's very interesting because I found a few that you actually work with. I see here like a poet or a novelist. I think you are quite a poet. Also, your sister is really good. She's 16, 17 now. 17 now. She's mm. really good at writing novels. Multimedia producer, mm, no which way. Michael is doing. There's also an editor, a film editor, which you are also doing for our channel. There's also education and counseling. It's like a lot of what I would see himself doing. College professor mm -hmm. for humanities. Mm -hmm. That Do you remember any of these? That's exactly what I want to do. I know! I don't remember any of that. But at the same time, the issue of the INFP is that they're not satisfied of one thing. Yeah, yeah, see, 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 see. Okay, let me continue. Researcher, clinical psychologist, counselor, all of that. Social worker, that. which he's a registered social worker. Early childhood education teacher. I don't think you could do oh, that. Oh, <laughs> he, he can't do kids. Team conflict resolution. Mm. He's really good at that. Isn't that cool though? Like, there are all these different fields, but like so many areas that you actually already do. Yes. And also things that you would fit. You know what? Nami has really grounded me. She's put sense into my intuition. What does this mean? She's put a bit more social skills into my isolation. <laughs> She's put a bit Which more... Which is hilarious because I was also externally isolated. <laughs> She's put a bit more practical action and judging and scheduling into my wild... Mm -hmm. I, I agree. Ideologued mindset. Your counselor did say that you had borderline... Oh, ADD. ADD, not yeah. ADHD, not mm -hmm. hyperactive. In your mind, you would go ADD mm -hmm. because you're just jumping from thought to thought to thought to thought. Before, I was very all over the place. I was thinking I was an idealist, mm -hmm. and you kind of put smack some sense into me. And I, I was, did. I was a caveman, yeah. living as a hermit, and I had absolutely no sense of social skills. Yeah. And still now, I'm very awkward. <laughs> And Nami, I think you're less awkward than me. And Nami kind of... I became awkward more. And Nami helped me in that sense. Uh, I was very insensitive. He gave me some sense. And... <laughs> I know. Sometimes I'd be like, why'd you say that? So I have a lot of empathy then. Yes. But I was very bad at sympathy. Yes! Yes! Sim <gasps> oh my gosh! So I was very That's heavy so on, the, true. on the emp and Yo. I had no sympathy. Yeah. You were so insensitive, but you were also very, very compassionate in yes. your heart. But so, like, that was very foolish of me. It says in Proverbs, better 
is open rebuke than hidden love. Mm. It's better to correct. Tell someone off. Tell someone off publicly than to hide love. Yeah, but it also says better is a man living in an attic than with a bickering wife. <laughs> so that's also my problem. Okay. But you are very bickering. Hey! <laughs> I think a lot of wives are. Tell us your MBTI because we're always really interested. We always like to see what other people's personalities are like. Um, they're not like gonna fit you 100% because everyone is different. It's more of a skeleton, but it's very telling to the base of your personality. So let us know and let us know like one thing that like you found was really, really fitting for you in terms of that personality test. All right, that was it. Thank you very much. <sighs> Look at my biceps. Nice. Let us know if you'd like to see more talks, if you have any ideas, and subscribe so you stay updated.